As with all of these high profile yachts, confidentiality plays such a big role in what kind of information is released to the public. And as 2020 came to an end, Royal Houseman released some new renderings and some new details on Project Fi. So on today's vlog, we're gonna go through this new yacht to come out of the shipyard. We're gonna go through her shadow vessel, and then at the end, I've got some exciting news on their new project, a 52 meter sport fisher. Now, those of you that know a bit about sport fishers will know that that is enormous. That's over double the size of real development, the sport fisher that David did a vlog on last year. But to start with, here is Project Fi. The most significant of details to be announced was her overall length. Now, apparently building motor yachts with such a low profile and sleek lines is often quite a challenge for many shipbuilders in terms of engineering. You know, things like fitting all the complex systems that are needed and also wanted by the owner into such a knife-like hull. But for Royal Hausman, who have built a number of award-winning sailing yachts, this is business as usual. So I'm sure they were very proud when they announced that at 58.5 meters, she'll be the longest motor yacht sub 500 gross tons in the world. The owner had a very powerful vision from the get-go. You know, he didn't just want a large yacht. He wanted a yacht that had a thought-provoking core concept. Cordy Rover was selected as the man to realize her full potential. It seems his radical ideas fell on the right ears as he and the owner were very much on the same wavelength. This kind of synergy between owner and designer, like with anything creative, I suppose, is the perfect environment to create something truly meaningful and unique. The resulting design is said to tell a story that is deeply rooted in its surroundings. She'll feature a private upper deck that's allocated to the owner, designed with a focus to the skies, a main deck that's directed at the water surfaces, and a lower deck that will be connected to the underwater world. Of course, only those lucky enough to experience her firsthand will be able to communicate how, why, and what these stories really are. With naval architecture by Van Ozenen, I do hope I'm not butchering that, Project Fi will be built out of aluminium and will be equipped with gyro stabilizers, as well as their patented XL fast displacement hull, which will result in a great fuel efficiency as well as top speeds of up to 22 knots. I'm sure it'll come as no surprise that she's fitted with quite a few quirky qualities as well. Most significantly, Cordy Rover's patented depth pool, which features a strong automated cover that sealed the tank in a matter of minutes. It also means that minimal fresh water is needed as it'll all stay in the tank heated and treated while it's not in use. It's also said that she'll feature an infinite wine cellar. They haven't released any information as to what that actually is, but that definitely sounds like a winner. So I guess we'll have to wait to see for that one. Another interesting feature which relates to these very social circular deck lounges these in fact rotate on a rail, which allows for a 360 degree view. To accompany the mothership, a 36 meter workhorse is used to carry the tender and toys, as well as even a small car. It will also feature further crew quarters, a 33 square meter workshop, as well as backup fuel for her 58 meter counterpart. She'll also feature a massive 11.5 meter crane with a capacity of 15,500 kilos. She will of course parade the same design by Cordy Rover, as well as Van Ozenen's patented XL fast displacement hull. With construction by Elia Yachts, a Turkish yard, their main challenge was keeping performance and efficiency high as it has to be relatively fast, which considering what she has to carry sounds like quite the task. From her twin cat C32 engines, she'll have a top speed of 21 knots and a cruising speed of 12 knots, which will result in a range of about 4,200 nautical miles. Now, Project 406. This is a really exciting one for Royal Hausman and those of you that are interested in sport fishers. So heading back to their roots of building vessels for the local fishermen in the late 1800s, Royal Hausman is set to build a new 52 meter six deck sport fishing yacht. She's going to be designed by the in-house team at Vrypak and will be the largest true sports fishing yacht in the world 
by just under 10 meters, so I believe. Now, obviously, still being in the development phase, there's very little information out on it. However, we can assume that she's going to need some very large engines. I mean, at 499 gross tons and with her aluminium build, she's going to need a lot of power to get up to those top sport fisher speeds of about 40 knots. There's no set delivery yet, but I have no doubt that she'll be an absolute assassin of the seas. As someone who loves fishing, I'm really excited to see how Project 406 actually comes out. When I was a wee lad, we used to live in Miami and my dad and I used to go fishing quite frequently and on some pretty amazing sport fishes as well. But none of them compared to a six deck, 52 meter vessel. I'm not embarrassed to admit that prior to making this video and prior to David asking me to do some research on their new and upcoming projects, I hadn't actually heard of Royal Houseman. So thank you, Mr. Seal. I'm looking forward to hearing more about these two beauties.